What's going on everybody? It's Strawberry Short Kate here and today we have something fun. We are building my first ever PC. Um, for those of you who know me know that I've been streaming from a laptop and it just has not been working out so well. Laptops can't really keep up to PC performance. So we are going to build a PC. Build a PC. Um, I can post the specs and the information for anybody who's interested. It is an $800 budget build gaming PC. So for those of you who are on a budget, like me, yay college, um, I'll post the specs for you and you can check it out. I did have a lot of help on picking the parts out. Um, thank you to everybody who helped me. Zach Cannon Games, um, Bobby B. Dennis, Zach Weigel, um, Pat, and just everybody who had a hand in helping me pick stuff out. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so, so much. And I'm so excited to get started on this. And since it is my first ever PC build, I do have my laptop handy with lots of YouTube tutorial videos pulled up, so we might be referencing that once in a while. But let's get started. So first up is the NZXT Mid Tower. Obviously they do make larger cases for the PC, but we don't need a larger one for the build that we're doing. So the Mid Tower was a good size and it has fans that come in it, but we did buy an additional cooler just because I don't know if I trust these little fans on here. <laughs> I mean, I would rather pay you know, a little extra and keep the PC cool and know that it's gonna be okay. So here is our beautiful case. Now let's see what we get to put in it. All right, here we have our motherboard and our processor. All of the items that I bought were off of Newegg with the exception of these two, which I did get off of Amazon. And that was more because of price and the availability of the products. So, like I said, we were on a budget, so we went with the Intel Core i5 processor. I know a lot of you are probably cringing, saying, oh, why didn't you get the i7? But it is a considerable price difference in the two, so we did go with the i5. Now, we went with the MSI Gaming Series motherboard, and it just had all of the ports that we wanted on it. It's going to have the right connections for all the pieces that we bought. So, we got this beautiful baby as our motherboard. So here, we have our EVGA graphics card. It is the GTX 960 model. Originally, we were going with the 750 Ti, but last minute, uh, Pat told me not to go with it. He said this one just came out, and the price had dropped a little bit on it, so he directed me towards the 960, and so we ended up going with this one for better performance. The last box was packed full of everything, so here's the last of the stuff that we got. This is our Corsair power supply. We went with the 600 watts. Um, I wasn't quite sure how much power was needed, but everybody said 600 is going to be fine for the components that we have. Um, most people end up overestimating how much wattage they actually need for their computer, which isn't a bad thing because it's always good to have extra, but for price and just because of the pieces that we have, we did go with 600. Here we've got our G-Skill Rip Jaws RAM. We ended up going with eight gigabytes. That's really all I need for the games that I will be playing. Some of you might want more. Um, our computer motherboard does have an option that we can always upgrade if we want more. But since we are on a budget and we're trying to do a budget build, eight gigabytes. And like I said before, we did end up getting another fan. Um, you can use the stock fans that they have, but I would rather, like I said, pay a little more just to know that my PC is going to be cooled proficiently. So we end up going with the Cooler Master fan. This, I'm going to keep it in the bubble wrap until we decide to take it out and once we start building the computer. But this is our one terabyte hard drive. Um, they do make solid state drives, which are a little more efficient, but the price difference is huge, like to get a one terabyte solid state drive compared to a one terabyte hard drive. So we went with the hard drive. And this is just a good old fashioned DVD ROM drive. Um, I think they're always handy to have. You never know when you're going to need it. And it's just efficient. I like hard copies of CDs. Um, I know a lot of you like the digital downloads, but I like having the hard copy. So DVD ROM drive, just in case. And the coolest thing that I just found at the bottom of all these boxes, um, a $100 wine voucher. Obviously they know who they were selling to. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> all right, so we've got everything unboxed. 
I think it's time to start building. All right, so, so far we put the face plate on, we put the standoffs into the case, and then we have the motherboard installed and screwed in. So, first part, going all right. <laughs> All right, so we've installed the fan now, the DVD-ROM drive, the hard drive, and I think that's all since the last one. Um, we have to do the video card next and the power supply. Um, then we'll be able to run a BIOS test to make sure that everything is put in place correctly and is functioning. So we're getting there, team. All right, so we've got all the pieces put together, we've got the panels put back on. Uh, now we are going to plug it in and hope that it all runs. Alright, fingers crossed. And there it is! That is beautiful. Check that out everybody. I built a computer! <laughs> My first ever computer build. I think it's time to take this $100 wine voucher and put it to good use now to celebrate. I feel so proud right now. So beautiful. Can't wait to touch you.